Compared to Beast Wars and even Thunderbirds, Digimon, Digital Monsters, was a franchise I was a lot more casually into as a kid. And by that I mean I watched the first two series, known in Japan as Digimon Adventure and Digimon Adventure 02, and I liked them well enough. The franchise revolves around creatures from a digital world, as in linked to Earth's telecommunications network. One of its concepts is Digivolution, in which Digimon can grow into a more powerful form. There are six main evolutionary levels. Upon hatching from a Digi-Egg, you have Fresh, In Training, Rookie, Champion, Ultimate, and Mega. I know there are alternate stages, but this is all that's relevant for now. Unsurprisingly, there have been a couple of Digivolving themed toy lines, courtesy of Bandai, the company behind Digimon. The first line debuted in 1999, and from that series, we're looking at the Digivolving Greymon figure. Greymon is a champion level dinosaur type Digimon. Despite how often you'll hear him referred to as a T-Rex, the design is apparently based on the Ceratosaurus. My guess is the horn snout that depictions of this dinosaur tend to have. Whatever the influence, this toy is generally accurate to the anime. It's an orange theropod with blue stripes, red eyes, triple digit claws and feet, and most iconically, the brown tri-horned skull cap, styled after a rhinoceros beetle shell. For safety, the horns are soft plastic. There's some nice detailing too, with subtle flesh lines and sculpted muscles. It's not perfect, the stripes on his horns and across his torso aren't painted, and his tail has this purple stuffing, we'll get to what that is. But in the end, I'd say this is the better looking form of the two. For articulation, the upper and lower jaws hinge separately, the shoulders, hips and ankles are on restricted ball joints, the knees hinge, and there's a swivel in the lower leg. The only major gripe I have with Greymon is that his tail doesn't peg in place that solidly. Even then, I don't know if it's an inherent flaw of the figure, or if the peg has worn over time on this copy. Greymon digivolves into Metal Greymon, an ultimate level cyborg type Digimon. Looking at the two, I think most would agree that this is one of the easier digivolutions to pull off as a transforming action figure, mainly because not much visually changes compared to say Patamon and Angemon, not that it stopped them. But working from head to toe, the metallic helmet covers the original skull, whereas in the anime the whole shell, including the horns, turns metallic. Metal Greymon's also missing his red hair at the back of his head, though to be fair I don't know how they'd work it in. Greymon's left arm is replaced with the android-like Mega Claw. The chest is brand new, with robotic details and missile hatches, the latter of which open up in reference to his Giga Blaster attack. For this toy, Greymon's tail splits, unfurls, and pegs onto the back to form Metal Greymon's ragged purple wings. It doesn't peg in well there either. Metal Greymon's tail falls out from below, it too has mechanical detailing. Lastly, the legs have a slightly different configuration. Every little helps. The articulation has changed slightly, for both better and worse. The metal skull impedes the previous head movement, however the new arm has an elbow, with the claw on a strut. The wings furl and hinge in and out, everything else is the same as Greymon. While I'm aware Metal Greymon is supposed to be hunched, the new tail permanently curled downwards forces that a little more than is probably necessary. For my first foray into the Digimon Digivolving series, Greymon to Metal Greymon is… fine. Most of my lack of enthusiasm boils down to the liberties taken in the Metal Greymon form, some of which, such as the lack of red hair, was inevitable, others like the tail, not so much. Maybe a larger size would have fixed these? If you're into one or both of these particular Digimon designs, it's worth picking up, but just from pictures, it seems like there are more impressively executed Digivolutions out there. Right now, the only other toy I have from the line is Garurumon to Wear Garurumon, and we'll hopefully get to him in the near future. Mm -hmm. 